Hi everyone, I'm going to show you in this tutorial how you can make some grip on handles on things like this in a very easy way. To do that we're going to add a mesh circle which I'm going to position above the grid line like that. Press 3 on the numkey path and zoom in a little bit like this. Now go to edit mode over here, press Control R until you have that purple line circle. Roll with the middle mouse key until you have three of these lines. Left mouse click and press escape until you have that. And now go to mesh faces, poke faces or press the shot key alt B until you have something like this. Now press A to escape. The, the A is, uh, is of course the deselection of everything. Now over here you have that button which will select everything but not the only visible parts but the invisible parts also. Now we're going to zoom in like this and what we're going to do is we're going to select these middle points but on the rear you see the same middle points so they should be approximately in one line. If that is the case, be sure that you have the Vertage Selection tool and press B. Now select in the range of that one all these points. Now go up and we're going to do the same over here. You see that if I now wanted to select with B, I have in the front the middle points, but on the rear I have the top points, which I don't want. So zoom in like this until they're all in one line like this. Now press B and select them again. Now you have selected all of these points. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the command Control B like that and press V. Ah oh, sorry forgotten so I forgot one. We're going to first of all press escape. We're going to extrude them and to do that we press S and we make the looking coming outside looking like this okay when this is done okay control B and press V now you can move your cursor until you have some flattened faces if you exaggerate you have something like this which will be more okay, let's give more grip but I think it's better to choose something like that left mouse click before we enter and stop this command, we can press Ctrl B again and we're going to move the cursor around and now if we got something like looking like this, roll with the middle mouse key and this will make the edges round. Okay, when you've done that, left mouse click and press escape and A. Now, what we're going to do now is go back to object mode. I'm going to copy that one. As you can show you two different things now. Shift D in X direction, uh, in Y direction, sorry. I'm going to put that one next to another. I'm going to start with this one. Go to edit mode. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use a command modifier subdivision surface. What we're going to say, okay, I want four of them in view and four of them in rendering and now press ctrl r move this one underneath ctrl r move that one up looking like this okay now if i go to object mode you will see what's happening you get that kind of grip if it is not what you want it's okay i've got the other solution for the one next to the other one select that one and we're going to do approximately something that's equal to that. We're going to add a modifier which is edge split and what we're going to do now is we're going to smoothen it. Looking like that but it is not what I want. So I'm going to reduce the edge a little bit. Looking uh, let's say 12. Okay, so I got what I want. 
Now we're going to give it both a color, say apply of course. We're going to give it a color. In my case they will be black both. So not one looking like this. Not completely black, not too shiny. And switch off underneath shadow receive. And the same over here. I'm going to choose also let's make that one dark green it's more an army color so intensity less and also switch off shadow. Now, the only thing that I need now is add a mesh, a plane, enlarge it, give that one a color. Let's choose for that. City, no shadow and cast. Okay, now the only thing we necessarily have to do is lock in the camera view. So lock camera to view, cursor on the screen, zero on the key path, and rotate everything until you have what you want. Going to zoom in a little bit like this, and then I'm going to enlarge. looking okay lock camera to view cursor on the screen zero on the name key path click on the lightning and okay to position the lightning one over there shift D I went to the right I went to the left okay now enlarge the background plane pressing S of course to do that and if you have done that now we're going to render it before we render it, pay attention that your output is in the correct directory and that your format is okay. In my case, it is a JPEG file. Now let's render it. And there you have what you see or what you want. You have two types of grip. If you want to make handles, things like this. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.